Hey guys, thanks for checking out my channel. Be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I got a quick unboxing to do for you today. This wasn't one that I had planned on doing, but poking around online the other day, I seen that Arma's got a sale going on. So I thought, yeah, I better pick that up. And I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. It's the Arma Phazon Voltage. Uh, I got this from Tower, but you can get this a lot of different places now at the same price. Uh, Tower, Horizon Hobbies, A-Main. I'm sure there's a bunch of eBay retailers that have it as well. Um, this one's kind of been on my radar for a while. I've seen a lot of different videos on it, but I just never got around to pulling the trigger on it. But when I seen that they dropped the price to $99, I thought to myself, it would be wrong of me not to get it now. Um... And I figure, especially with the holiday season coming around soon, if uh, if you've got a kid that's really dying to get into the hobby, or even you yourself are watching this and think that RC is something you might want to try, for $99, I haven't run this thing yet, but from everything I've read, a ton of other videos I've seen, I think to, to get into it, I don't really think that you can go wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and take this thing out of the box. Like I said, I ordered this one off Tower Hobbies, and uh, I ordered it Tuesday afternoon, and here it is Thursday afternoon. Uh, it's a pretty quick turnaround of two days. Uh, just some advice and info on their lithium-ion batteries, which we'll get into in a little bit. <laughs> It's just a charger for your lithium ions and uh, I know it's been well noted on a lot of other videos. Um, they are, they look like double A's but they're actually quite a bit bigger than double A's. Two point four gig transmitter. Kind of the same kind of battery compartment that uh, my many associates got. They go right up into the handle. Um, feels a little wonky. Like the bottom is like curved and really thin, and the top seems kind of bulky. But again, as you know, I don't get crazy about radios as long as they do what they're supposed to do. I don't really care. Got your basic uh, trim knobs on there, kind of bare bones, but yeah, and it's radio. I don't care a whole lot about that. Looks like the uh, owner's manual, warranty information. Telling you how to put your batteries in, how to turn everything on, just your basic. Not really any parts list though, but whatever. And uh, one little packet looks kind of like a multi-tool thing they got going on there for your uh, wheel nuts and such. And they give you two shock spacers, kind of bare bones. But again, $99. This thing typically up until now it retailed for $139 pretty much everywhere, I think. So for $99, a completely ready to run one-tenth scale minus your batteries for the for the transmitters is a pretty sweet deal and that's why I felt uh, that's why I felt that I needed to hop on this one. Like I said, it had been on my radar, but uh, now at that price I feel like I'd have been an idiot to not give it a shot. Looks kind of sharp and if I'm not mistaken it's it's the Phazon and the Granite. They've got both of them now. The Voltage Series 
uh, for $99. I didn't go with the granite just because I've, I've had one of their older granites till I just sold it recently. So I thought I'd go with something different. You can get it in green or blue. Uh, when I ordered it, I just uh, put random on there. Figured tower could surprise me because I don't really much care. Um, body looks sharp. Looks like I might have a little bit more give than the uh, strata body, which I did kind of cobble job together. Hope it holds together for the next run. Um, I mean, you know, here's the chassis. Double wishbone suspension, oil-filled shocks. Um, outdrive cups are plastic. That's, um, that might be a little worrisome down the line, but I don't plan on putting any kind of a crazy motor set up in here or anything. So for my purposes, how I'm going to run it at least for a while, um, should be just fine. They've got, I noticed out of the box they've already got uh, one shock spacer on each of the or no excuse me two yeah two shock spacers on both of the front shocks and three on the back so in that little baggie they only give you two but there's already plenty loaded on here uh, obviously mid motor design that's something a bit different all metal gear diffs which is nice and this is a uh, Their uh, battery thing they got going on here. I think when they came out with this, that they were hoping that this was going to be, I don't know, some sort of uh, revolution in, in uh, RC batteries. But uh, I don't really think it's going to turn out to be much of a thing. They got these lithium ion cells. They give you two to get started, but you can put a total of six in here, which I think I read somewhere a while ago. Uh, if you go with six, I think it gives you like about a half hour runtime or something. And uh, I don't remember if it was uh, maybe JT a while back when he was running his, uh, running them with the stock two batteries. I think, don't get, I want to say he got somewhere in the 10 to 12 minute range, but we'll see. I'm, I'll get these charged up for the first run. So uh, if you're looking at buying this, you can see how it does on the stock batteries. Um, not really sure what Arma's intention behind utilizing these kind of batteries was, but uh, you know, whatever. I know you can fit a 2S in here, although I'm probably gonna have to do some uh, slight modifications to get my 2S batteries to fit in here. Um, waterproof electronics, as usual. One thing I like um, when I'm going to run my batteries is, uh, huh, scratch that. Um, but when you use the lithium ions, they got, uh, just hook that ESC in right over there. But, uh, you know, pretty standard stuff. Uh, one of the reasons I kind of shied away about picking this up because, this car comes with one of those two-in-one ESC receiver deals, so if one goes, you got to replace both of them. But you know, for a hundred dollars, that's not going to be much of a thing for me. Uh, it's got a 20-turn motor in it. Uh, again, a hundred bucks. I'm not expecting the world, and I think I'm hoping. I assume for a hundred dollars that I'm going to feel that that's money pretty well spent. Don't mind me, I'm just turning around looking for my battery bag here. Um, i got several different LiPos that I could run. i got a couple of pretty old uh, soft pack LiPos, which... Let's see how this fitment goes. All right, now this, my soft one, will fit in here just fine uh, without a problem. And it might be that I'm going to have to just use these when I run this car. I don't know yet because uh, using the Gen's Ace with the way the wires are on here, obviously it's not going to slide right in. 
and I think it was Filthy Co RC uh, doing a video on a phase on he picked up maybe a couple weeks ago. He did a good job showing and illustrating what kind of batteries you could use in here. Um, so this is not actually going to work. This one's not going to work. I'm glad I still got a couple of uh, these old Nanotex. Like I said, that uh, easily slide in. That'll lock in place. And uh, yeah, I'm an idiot. I have to go around the other way with it. So keep that in mind with the batteries. Um, what what 2S batteries you can use. I know Charlie from BNC did a slight mod up here at the front of the chassis. He cut part of it out to get his light bulbs to fit, but the Gen's Ace batteries that I have aren't going to work in this. Not a huge deal because I do have a couple of these. They're not. Uh, they're older. I don't know. I might have to look and get another pack. But. Uh, you know, first things first, when I do the running video, I'm going to be giving these uh, lithium ion cells a chance. Again, it seems like something Harbor Harma was hoping that, I don't know, was maybe going to revolutionize a hobby, but it doesn't really seem like they're taking off that much. So, that's about all I got to say about this one. Like I said, it was kind of impromptu. I really didn't expect to pick this up, but when I saw it uh, on sale the other day, I thought, this would be a really good car for where, for the most part, for where my channel is at. You know, looking at more inexpensive rigs, rigs to get younger people and just people new to the hobby in general into it without having to drop a ton of money. I think for $99 at this, I'm really quite confident that this is going to provide exceptional value to, a, you know, a first time person to be their, their first RC car. And like I said, you can get this, the Voltage, or you can get the Granite if you want more of a monster truck look. I believe they're both uh, in $99. But I think I'm going to wrap this one up. Didn't want to spend too much time on it. I know there's a ton of stuff out there on YouTube already about this car, but I figured it was the right time for $99 for me to jump into it, give you uh, my two cents for what it's worth. And uh, gonna have fun ripping this thing around, putting it through its paces. And as always, uh, I'll keep bringing videos to you to let you know what I think about it, if I recommend it. Yada, yada, yada. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, everybody have a great day. Take care now.